Ashdir, and if you haven't guessed by the title or by my super cool intro just there, um, I've created minecarts that drive on their own without any rails anywhere in your world, <laughs> which is really cool. And it's yeah, it makes me think of Mario Kart, which I'm I think I'm gonna make a map out of it. We'll see. Um, so if you're interested in that, just place a comment or something like that. Then yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, let me explain real quick how this works. We got a basic fill clock right here, which is just filling all those blocks with redstone blocks. And let me put a torch down because I think you can't really see what's happening. What's happening? Sorry. Um, so here's the first command block, and basically they're all the same, but just little changes. And yeah, you'll see. So what it's doing is it's executing at every player in a radius of 200 blocks which is because I'm not in my, a single player world, I'm on a server and I don't want any every minecart to act like what I just yeah, showed you. Um, and they were testing for an RY minimum, minimum, so radius of our range Y minimum and a range Y of minus 115 and minus 65. So basically what that means, if, if you press F3, you can see in the second um, part, uh, about in the middle, above biome, you see facing, and then it's west towards negative x, and then you see two numbers, and it changes um, if I move my cursor. Um, and basically what it's doing is it's testing if your le the left number of those two is equal to the numbers. Um, let's see what they did here. So minimum, with minimum of this, and a maximum of this, which is basically around here. Everywhere you go. Sorry. Um, so yeah, it's testing if you have that, and if you have that, then it's gonna execute at the nearest entity, or at every entity with an, which is a minecart, um, in a radius of one, which is basically the only entity you are on, <laughs> and it's gonna do an entity data command on that entity, and it's gonna give it a specific motion. Motion basically means that it's, um, yeah, how do you explain the movement of an object or an entity? I need to mean so. If I move this w this way, I'm giving a motion to that way. And the faster I move, the higher my motion is. That's basically recognized in the game. So you can change this for an entity. So I set it for every minecart to 5.0 in that direction, because we were facing in this direction. And I'm also giving it a Y, uh, a y <laughs> it's difficult to say, uh, motion, which is up. Oh. <laughs> Um, and that's because if you don't have that, you drive real slow. Um, so yeah, it's it's like walking. So you can better walk than drive a minecart. But the minecart is still cooler. Um, but when you teleport it like 0 0.04 blocks up, um, you're basically in the air and you go a lot faster. And I can show you that because if I remove this, change it to 0 0.00, and as I said, it was in this direction, so if we go that direction, you'll see we got real slow. And if we add it, again, so change this to 4, you'll see the change. You see? It's a lot faster. Because you're actually in the air uh, by a real small amount. A 0 0.04 block, um, yeah, 0 0.04 blocks, correctly said. Um, wrong command block. Um, so yeah, but why is that? Because you should think that you're getting up and up and up and up and up and up and up. No, because the minecart still falls a certain time. So if you do like this, come on, you see the Minecraft minecart falls, and 0 0.04 is just enough. Uh, is a balance between falling and rising. So you'll actually stay put, which is cool, I think, and you're still in the air, so it makes you faster. So, um, that's for one direction, um, and that's basically this direction, which is, I think, north? No, it's east. Um, so yeah, you have that for, uh, these are the other, um, yeah, straights, directions, those. Um, and we also have di diagonals, so you can have a bit of variation. But when I tested it without, yeah, the 0 0.04, um, I th I saw that when you used the diagonals, you go a lot faster. So here, instead of using a 5.0 motion, I'm using a smaller motion in two directions. Because your two directions, you go, yeah, faster. Because um, 
uh, yeah, let me explain this with rails. Good idea. Um, when a normal straight line goes one this way, let's remove that. Um, and diagonal goes this is one, or yeah, it's actually one two like that. So you're a lot faster. Uh, so that's why I decrease the value a little bit to keep it in balance. It's still faster. I could make this four or maybe three and a half. Um, but yeah, I just you can show you if I put a minecart down. This is about the speed you go, but you go faster this way. Then there's just one question left, or actually two, but well, I'll answer one now. Um, why do I use motion and not teleporting? Well, at first, motion is a lot faster or a lot smoother than teleporting. I do know that this clock can make teleporting um, smooth, but this is just cooler or better. It's 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 always smooth, however fast your clock is. Um, so yeah, that's why I use the motion. The other question, I'll see you in a little bit because it's somewhere else. So when I said that when we are using the motion to get you a bit up to go faster, um, that also means that we can't get you up in any way. Also not using slime blocks or pistons. So how do I fix this? Motion. <laughs> so getting a higher motion or an upwards motion of 10 here and a 1.75 here. Um, we're actually able to you when we trigger this trip wire to teleport or to get the minecart up a level in this mansion. So let's try that out. Perfect. So yeah. That's basically how that works. When you trigger the trip wire, it activates the command block, and a command block just gives you a motion up. So yeah, that's that part done. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. There will be a schematic upload and some commands in the description. So yeah, you can play around with yourself. Don't have to code yourself all the command blocks, you know. So yeah, if you enjoyed, the like was much appreciated. If you have questions about something, ask me in the comments. I'll always answer them. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.